ويقدمون للعالم رسالتنا وقيمنا النبيلة التي نفتخر بها ولن نتخلى عنها ونتمنى من العالم احترام احترامها كما نحترم القيم الأخرى بما يعز شراكتنا ويخدم المنطقة والعالم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Around the world, we're seeing efforts to undermine the rules-based order. With China's increasingly coercive actions in the Indo-Pacific and beyond, with Russia's brutal and unprovoked war against its neighbor in Ukraine, with Iran's destabilizing activities here in the Middle East, we've also seen critical changes. For the first time since 9-11, an American president is visiting this region without American troops being engaged in combat and a combat mission in the region. But today, I'm proud to be able to say that the era of land wars in the region, wars involving huge numbers of American forces, is not underway. We, but we maintain both the capacity and the absolute determination to suppress the terrorist threat wherever we find it. We're going to continue our counterterrorism efforts working with a broad coalition of countries, including everyone around this table. And we will turn our attention and our resources to supporting our partners, strengthening our alliances, and building coalitions to solve the problems facing this region of the world and the world today. The United States is clear-eyed about the challenges in the Middle East and about where we have the greatest capacity to help drive positive outcomes. Our objectives are focused on our, 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 excuse me, our focus to realistic and achievable so that we can target our resources, rebuild trust, and deliver real results. And we will operate in the context of the Middle East as it is today, a region more united than it has been in years. The GCC is a prime example of that. Let me state clearly that the United States is going to remain an active, engaged partner in the Middle East. As the world grows more competitive and the challenges we face more complex, it is only becoming clear to me that how closely interwoven America's interests are with the successes of the Middle East. We will not walk away and leave a vacuum to be filled by China, Russia, or Iran. We'll seek to build on this moment with active, principled American leadership.